Welcome to Metrofile, your social diary program on Channels Television. It's a packed full edition and we hope you enjoy it. Please watch out for flash photography while you do. I am Ewa Oluwa Ogumborede. The families of Dele Adesino and Olatunde Banasco celebrate with friends and family at the joyous traditional wedding ceremony between their children, Ade Donyo Nolapo and Olasheni Olauto, in a glamorous ceremony in Lagos. <laughs> Adetong and Olashieni's traditional wedding began with the customary entry into the bride's home by the groom's family. The reason for their coming firmly established, the two families then go through the traditional rites involved in the presentation of request and reply. The Yoruba traditional marriage is incomplete without the arrival of the groom and the cultural greeting with his friends. This is followed by the bride's arrival and then Aditongu takes her time to savor the moment. <laughs> then comes the high point when she is sent forth to her new family. Adetong then picks a single item out of all the gifts the groom's family bring before she caps her man. Then 
The re-entry of the couple signals the beginning of the reception. Adetong Onolako Banasco, nay Adeshino, was born on Christmas Eve of 1993 in Lagos to Mr. Dele Adeshino, a senior advocate of Nigeria, and Mrs. Mercy Bola Adeshino from Ekiti State. She studied for her bachelor's degree in information technology management and business at the University of Sheffield, United Kingdom, before attending the Imperial College Business School London for her Master's in Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Management. She has worked with Accenture London, United Kingdom and now at Barringer A, Business Management Consultants London. Ola Sheni Olauton Banasco was born on the 16th of June 1992. He studied economics, finance and banking at Nottingham Trent University, United Kingdom for his bachelor's. Ola Sheni works with Bacardi, United Kingdom. Adetong and Ola Sheni met through their friends at a random night out in London and started their friendship which sparked a relationship and lifelong partnership that has spanned almost seven years, and now counting. It's a mixed feeling. I'm happy that she's married. And uh, I cannot say I am unhappy because she's leaving me. But the truth is that I just manage my feelings because I'm a man. You can see his, you can see her mother. By the time we were giving her hand out in marriage, her mother was crying like a baby. At a point I was wondering, my daddy is a thing of celebration. Don't don't uh, do this. But I, I, I feel all my children are very, very close, particularly the female ones. They are very close to me. She's very close to me, and you know, I had um, I had another child after her after seven years. So she was a last born for a long time. <laughs> so she's 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 a lovely person. I will miss her so much. They should be patient, focused, and never listen to any other person but God and your husband. You know, you're married now, so it's no longer me. It's us. Think about each other. Consult each other before you do things care about each other, you know, have each other's backs and pray for each other every day, every day. And here's wishing the couple marital bliss.